Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about iron and why you should not be taking iron if you get sick. Okay. Well, first of all, iron is needed in the body for many different reasons. Um, one reason would be to feed good and bad bacteria. Uh, pathogens need iron to thrive and grow. So they can't exist without iron. There are exceptions. Some microbes can consume manganese instead of iron, like the microbe in Lyme, but most microbes need the iron. What happens when your body starts getting sick and your inflammation goes up is that your body starts storing iron in fer ferritin, which is a protein-bound iron resource. So it basically hides the iron from the pathogens, the bad bacteria and bad microbes, so they can't get it. And that's one defense mechanism that our, our bodies have, the host, to protect against pathogens. So you will find that your plasma or your blood iron will drop. Some people might even become anemic because of this reason. But the point is that you don't want to take extra iron when you're feeling run down or sick, okay? Um, just for this reason. So there's certain supplements that you want to avoid. Read the label. Don't take a, a supplement that has iron. And then, for example, the fortification of certain foods with iron, which you're probably not consuming. I'm talking about the grains, uh, enriched flour products. Okay, you're probably not doing that if you're watching my videos. But if you are, realize that that could be making things worse. So I just wanted to give you this interesting link between the pathogen, inflammation, and iron. Thanks for watching. Hey, so if you haven't done so, please press subscribe now. That way you can be aware of all the new content that I'm putting out on a regular basis.